go over to the Chocobo Sage. And now that I sold, in the last stream that I did, I actually sold an all materia, which gave us 1.4 million gil. So as far as money's concerned, we're sitting pretty at the moment. We don't have to worry about running out of uh, gil anytime soon. Which is good because it's a very, also a very expensive process to breed chocobos. So what we need to do is come in here and buy the best greens that he has. The Silcus greens, they're 5,000 apiece. But I only need, let me see, a blue chocobo needs uh, 10 Silcus greens. So you know what we'll do? We'll actually buy, we'll buy like 15. There we go. We'll get 15 Silka screens. We'll go feed them to our blue chocobo and then go take the blue chocobo to the races. And we have to race until we get an A class, I believe. Let me see. Um, no, they both need to be S. Oh, crap. Oh, and you know what? Wait a minute. I have to. I need more than that. I need 15 more Silka screens because I also need to feed the green chocobo Silka screens as well. We need the blue and green to both be as strong as possible. So hang on. We need to get even more silver screens. What do I need? I need 10 for the green one as well. So we'll get 15. We'll get 5 extra. Okay. Get 15 again. Okay, there we go. Alright, back to the Chocobo Ranch. So now, what we have to do is we have to feed the 15 greens to the blue chocobo and 15 greens to the green chocobo, take them both to the races and get them both to S class. And then what we can do is, I believe they both have to be S class. That's what it says in the strategy guide here, my Brady Games strategy guide, but I want to actually check that website I was looking at as well. Yo, Insomniosis! What's up, dude? Thanks so much for joining me, man. I was just explaining when I first started up the stream, um, I know I haven't been streaming in a while, but you know, it's been extremely busy with the baby and everything, all awesome, awesome stuff, of course, um, it's, it's incredible, and, uh, but, you know, it's, it's left me with, uh, less time to stream, of course, and I am very happy that I'm able to jump on for just a little bit this afternoon, uh, to continue the streams, so, he, he popped in and subscribed again, and, and I thanked him so much for the support. Uh, I'm just so grateful that you guys are here to begin with, uh, to watch me play my favorite game of all time. But um, especially that I that you know I'm not streaming as regularly as I as I was before. I really appreciate you guys popping in here. Uh, but to go that extra mile, E, and and also drop a subscription again, that's just like thank you, thank you, thank you. So no, no, you weren't too late. It's on the essence. I've only been live for 28 minutes. And it took us like 24 out of those 28 minutes to get a male blue chocobo, but I got one. As you can see here, I got our blue chocobo now. So, okay, so what we need to do now is feed the blue and the green 15 silk screens each. And what I'm going to do is, actually, while that's loading up, let me check over here. So, to get a black chocobo, it says A class and A class. Okay, so we don't need to have them be S. They could be A. Okay. So we're not going to go all the way to S class. We're going to go. We're going to go to um, A class. All right. So silk screens. We need to. Here's our green one, right? And here's our blue one. All right. So let's. Green female, male blue. Yes, perfect. <clears throat> all right. So let's give 15 silk screens to the green one. All right, yo, Johnny D, what's up, dude? Good morning, good afternoon, actually. Good afternoon, how's it going, my man? Thanks so much for joining in, I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god, that Tokyo Game Show trailer? Holy crap, Insomnia. I was up so late last night, I actually had Max's stream on. Of course, you guys know Maximilian, dude, I'm sure. Um, but I, I watch him and follow him, you know, a lot. And uh, I had Max's stream on, it was late last night, it was like 11.20. Uh, Eastern time when it started and I had his stream on and I was watching from my phone um, Yeah, man. I oh my god. Did you see that apps boss fight? 
the apps boss fight and and the way that Tifa fights and oh and the classic mode now I'm not going to be one that plays classic mode but there actually is a classic mode where you literally you don't have to control the character while you're waiting for the ATB gauge to fill up you can literally sit there with your hands off the controller and let the AI take over and then when your ATB bar fills up and it's ready for your turn to, to take your turn you can select your commands and issue your commands with each character just like the classic game here so all the running around and attacking while waiting for the ATB gauge to fill up you don't have to control that manually if you don't want to you can you can set it to classic mode and literally just sit there and wait until your ATB gauge is ready and then issue your commands just like the old school turn-based combat which is pretty crazy it's pretty crazy that you can that they that they put that option in there but what I really like the same thing that Max said last night is that there actually is an option for that having more options is never a bad thing you know there's gonna be a lot of people that don't like classic mode that don't want you know that are like oh why did they put this in then you don't have to play it that way it's an option right it's an option so I'm not gonna play classic mode I'm gonna to want to control my character at all times of course so I'm going to do normal mode, but for people that want to play that way and just want to wait for the ATB gauge to, that's awesome. There's nothing wrong with that, and they have that option, which is amazing. So yeah, they have a classic mode now that you can literally just play like actual turn-based combat and wait until your bar fills up and issue your commands, and it's just like the original game. And and the AI, the computer AI, just takes over in in the middle, you know, in the interim until your ATB is is filled. But yeah, man, oh my god, and then the way summons work, summons we know now are going to be staying on the battlefield until their duration is, is completed, and then at the end of the time that they are summoned out, they do their special attack, like Hellfire for Ifrit, for example, or Diamond Dust for Shiva. They'll, they'll do their big attack, and then they leave. So they actually fight alongside your party for a short period of time until they do their, their big attack, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. It, Last night's, everything that happened last night for Final Fantasy VII Remake is unbelievable. I am so, I am beyond hype, beyond, beyond, beyond hype for this game. Um, oh yeah, I'm beyond hype for it. Okay. I am so hyped. Like, it's, it's insane. Okay. So let's feed our blue chocobo now, and we'll get them both to class A. There we go. Okay. Oh my god, it's going to be incredible in Somniosis. Yeah. Okay. So they each have 15 silk screens, so let's head out now. We'll save. And we'll head over to the Gold Saucer to do more racing. We gotta get them both to A class. Yeah, thank you guys for being here, man. I really appreciate it. You guys know how much I love this game and how hype I am playing the original and how hype I am for the remake. And just just you guys being here. Like I said, E, you you resubscribing E was like amazing. But just you guys being here just means so much to me. You know, I'm, I'm so happy just sitting here playing my favorite game of all time with you guys being here. Dom! What's up, Dom? What's going on, hype? Hype train. All aboard the hype train. What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh my god, what is going on, you guys? The hype. Thank you, Dom. I was just explaining, Dom, for you guys to be here. Thank you, thank you for that. I am so hyped. Um, it's been like, what, two weeks since the last time I streamed, since the last time I played this game. So, um, you know, it, like I said, it's it, obviously my schedule is a bit more limited now with the baby. And uh, I don't have time to do my morning streams or anything like that anymore. And, you know, my evenings are pretty filled up, pretty busy. But um, I had some time today to jump on and stream a little bit. So I'm super, super hyped to do that and happy that you guys are here with me. And uh, we can talk about the classic game that we're playing now. We can talk about the remake. Uh, it's just, this is just great. This is great. Yeah, man. I'm very, very hyped. Dom, uh, you're back home, I guess? Are you back home now? I know you guys were away, right? You were in uh, Italy, right? 
Are you back now, or are you still away? Ain't no getting off of this hype train we're on, damn straight. Uh, where am I going, Chocobo? Oh, there ain't no getting off of this hype train we're on, that's for damn sure. Alright, so now we gotta win a bunch of races here, you guys. We gotta win a bunch of races. <clears throat> we gotta get both our green and blue Chocobo to A class. Mystery! Mr. E! E! Holy moly! I gotta refresh my stream. I don't even know. Oh my god, dude. Boy, you know we all love you. Hype Train. E, thank you so much, man. Oh my god, you are the man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that was too nice of you. You did not have to do that. Thank you. Oh, I really appreciate it. Hype! Hype! Yes! Ain't no getting off of this Hype Train we're on. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you, E. All right, Chalk, this is, yeah, C rank. We just gotta get him to, or her, to uh, A class. Okay. Oh, E, thank you. Thank you, thank you. You have no idea how uh, grateful I am to receive that tip, that donation. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the tip, E. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so we should be pretty good here. Um, we should be pretty good here. Switch it to manual, and let's, uh, if we hold down, now I don't know what I have to hold down in order for the stamina to not, no, 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 that's not it, that's not it, that slowed me down, the X button. I have to hold down, like, Oh, you know what? I think I got it. Wait a minute. No. My stamina is going. There's something you can hold down that doesn't make your stamina drain, but I... Oh, not that. Wait a minute. But I don't know what it is on... on this controller. Yeah. There used to be a cheat so that you didn't drain stamina, but I don't know what it is on this controller. But I'm burning these guys. I mean, we're good. We are good. Now nah, I'm holding all the shoulder buttons. I'm holding them all down, as you can see. Look in the uh, in the camera there. I'm holding all the shoulder buttons down, and it, unfortunately, that's not that's not the case. So I don't know. But we won. We burned the guys. Don't worry about that. Um, it's those 15 silka screens. You know, we're good. But, um, yeah, Dom, uh, I know you were in Italy, right, recently? We are getting ice crystal, nice. Are you back home again, or are you still over there? For 50 GP? Sure, I'll take the GP. Alright. You're back home, you did Rome, Florence, Naples, Barcelona, Monte Carlo, and a few other places, fun time. That's awesome, dude. I know, you guys were there for, uh, for a while, right? Thank, uh, that's, that's awesome. That is awesome. So I'm not going as fast. I'm still holding all the shoulder buttons down, but I'm not going as fast. Um, because if you press square, the more you press square, the faster your chocobo will gallop, quote-unquote gallop, so um, I'm not having it go nearly as fast because I don't need it to. As you can see, I'm way ahead. 
so we don't have to worry about that for right now. Two weeks awesome vacation. So awesome, dude. So awesome. Happy to hear it, man. I'm happy to hear it. So Violet got her first round of uh, vaccination shots today. So today's kind of like a low-key chill day. Um, they, she did so great with them, too. She did so well. We took her to the doctors this morning. And, uh, you know, her demeanor, she's always ha so happy and pleasant, thank God. Um, and, uh, you know, they, they gave her her shots. They do three three shots, like three sets of shots, three needles. Uh, one in one leg and two in the other. They put them in the legs. And, you know, she cried for, like, a little bit when they first did it. But after a couple minutes, she was fine again. And, you know, she just took it like a champ. She's the best. And uh, they did say, though, that it's probably going to make her droopy or drowsy, you know, and she might sleep uh, a lot more today than she usually does. And, and, you know, she might be a little bit fussy. And um, so far, thank goodness, she's she hasn't been fussy, but she is a little bit more sleepy than usual. So we're letting her rest, you know, and kind of just sleep off the, uh, the shots. But yeah, she did great. I need a so awesome emote. I do. I do need a so awesome emote because I say so awesome a lot. <laughs> You're absolutely right. I do. She is 11 weeks old today. She's 11 weeks today, actually. So next weekend, next Saturday, she'll be three months old. It's pretty nuts how that time has gone by so quickly. I can't believe it. Like, it just, it, I feel like. We were literally just in the hospital, you know, waiting for her to be born. And, like, already it's been almost three months. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Alright. I'm sorry, you guys, if this is a little bit boring to watch. Uh, hopefully, you know... We could be entertained by the conversation <laughs> that we're having because uh, I know Chocobo Racing isn't like the most stimulating thing to watch, but unfortunately it is a necessary necessary part of getting a gold Chocobo and then in turn getting the Knights of the Round material. So like I said, unfortunately it's necessary, but I know it's not like the most amazing thing to watch. So thanks for putting up with it and bearing, bearing with me through these uh, races here. Yeah, gotta get that gold chocobo, exactly. I appreciate it. Chocobo buttholes is very stimulating content. <laughs> yeah. Well, I appreciate it. Like I said, I know it's it's not like, we're not making really progress story-wise in the game. But it is a very necessary part of this game if you want to get the Knights of the Round material. Which, of course, we do. Now, you can get... The Calm Traveler actually gives you a gold chocobo without having to do all this breeding. But... In order to get the gold chocobo from the Calm Traveler, you have to beat Ruby Weapon, which gives you the Desert Rose item, and then you trade the Desert Rose to the Calm Traveler for the, uh, for the gold chocobo. But what we want to do is get Knights of the Round... Being B rank. Okay, good. What we want to do is get Knights of the Round before we fight Ruby Weapon, so we can actually use Knights of the Round on Ruby Weapon. So we need to get the Gold Chocobo before fighting him. So that's why we're doing all of this now. Uh, yes, I'm super, super close to the end of Disc 2. Very close. Alright, so now we're in B rank. So it might be a little bit more difficult here as far as uh, maintaining the lead. But we should be okay. And all we have to do is get him to A rank. Get both the male and female to A rank. And we'll be able to breed our black chocobo. So we're getting there. We're getting there with our green one. You were tearing up. Oh, tearing. I, I thought you were like, you were tearing up. Wow, what made you so emotional, Dom? Why are you crying? <laughs> you were tearing up the FF15 Chocobo race the other day. A few similarities here. Okay. I never actually did the Chocobo racing in Final Fantasy 15 because I never got that far in my 15 playthrough. I think I'm on Chapter 6 or something right now. I have to check um, I have to check my YouTube playlist because, of course, I put my 15 playthrough up on YouTube as well. And uh, I kind of stopped 
you know, I stopped for a while and then went back to it for like a couple of days, about a week or so, I went back to 15, and then I stopped again. But I'm, I'm right at the part where, I can't remember, I think it's chapter 6, I think. Yeah, I'm super close to the end of disc 2, but I want to get Knights of the Round on disc 2. And um, we can also do a couple other things, I guess. What else do we have to do? No, actually, after doing this, after getting uh, Knights of the Round, we're pretty good to like finish off this too and, and hop into Disc 3. Because there's nothing really else to do as far as like side content on Disc 2. So yeah, we're, we're going to hop right into uh, Disc 3 after I get my Gold Chocobo. Oh no! Oh no! Tio's here! Joe! Th see this black chocobo? It's Joe. We have to stay in front of him. Oh crap. He's gonna beat us. We're gonna lose this race. Yeah, he's like impossible to beat. He will always be faster than you. Joe will always, always, always be faster than you. You know what though? We might beat him. We might beat him. Let's see. Go, 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 go! Oh my god, look at the stamina. We beat him! Yes, we actually beat him. Joe is super, super hard to beat. Yeah, that was fast. Did you see how fast that was? That was pretty crazy. Alright, good, we beat him. Joe is super hard to beat. Oh, Dom! Thank you so much! Holy crap, two months, man! Oh my god, Dom, you're the man, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you for the sub. Oh, you guys are the best, man. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Holy crap. Yeah, that was super fast, right? I wish all the races were that fast. We're back to normal speed again now. I think, actually, after this race, we're going to be in A rank, right? Is this our third B rank race? I think it is. I'm pretty sure this is our third B rank race, so that means our green chocobo will be finished racing. So then all I have to do is focus on the blue one, get the blue one to rank A after this, and then we're good to go back and breed again. We'll be able to go back and breed us a black chocobo. And then after getting the black chocobo, I have to go catch a wonderful yellow chocobo of the other sex whatever our black one ends up being male or female it doesn't matter because I can go get the other sex of whatever the wonderful version of what other you know the other sex I need get that race that chocobo to I guess that needs to be S class I don't know I have to check the website and see um, and then yeah we'll breed our gold one all right I believe green is going to be A class now Yes! Sweet. Boom! Green is A. Okay. Now let's get our blue one to A. And I can grab the HP MP swap material. Yes, I can! You are correct, Insomnia. I didn't get that one yet. You are right. Alright, let's do it. Look at this guy coming out, coming out the gate strong here. Bad move, my friend. You're gonna run out of stamina in two seconds. See ya. <laughs> All right, very good. Yeah, I've been watching Maximilian dudes. Um, 
Final Fantasy VII New Threat mod playthrough. And man, New Threat is awesome. I'm not going to be playing New Threat because I'm doing the classic version of this game, obviously. And uh, I want to make sure that I can finish this playthrough before March 3rd. Because you guys all know what happens March 3rd, 2020. And um, I want to make sure that this playthrough, the classic game, is finished before Remake comes out. So that I could, of course, focus all my time and attention on the Remake. Um, but yeah, so... I'm not going to be playing New Threat, but the good thing is when I'm not streaming and when I when I do have free time, when I'm able to hop on Twitch or uh, YouTube, I've been watching Max play through the New Threat, and oh my god, New Threat is awesome. New Threat, 3-3-2020, that's it, it's on the you got it. New Threat is pretty amazing. The, the guy that made New Threat really did like an over-the-top fantastic job. And just the different references to other Final Fantasy games that are in that game. And the dialogue, the new dialogue he put in there really sounds like the characters, you know. And the side quests and the fact that you have to beat a, a side, like a boss, a new boss for every single character's final limit break and, and ultimate weapon. The way New Threat is structured is just incredible. And I'm so happy that Max has been playing through new threat because I'm not going to have enough time to do new threat on my own so to watch him play through it is amazing that's really cool alright we're getting there you guys thanks for like I said again thanks for putting up with these chocobo races but they are a very necessary part of getting a gold chocobo before a ruby weapon. You, like I said, you can get a gold chocobo by trading in the Desert Rose, which is an item you get from beating ruby weapon. But in order to do it before a ruby weapon, you have to breed. And I wanted to, since this is going to be probably my, not probably, it will be, my only full, complete beginning to end Final Fantasy VII playthrough on, for my Twitch and YouTube channels, I wanted to do as much as possible in this playthrough, which, you know, includes chocobo breeding and racing. So, yeah, like I said, this is a small part of of the main game. No problem, we enjoy this, oh thank you. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. I, I'm really enjoying myself. I love every part of this game. There really is no part of Final Fantasy VII that I don't like. There's parts that I like wish would go faster. For example, you know, <laughs> the joke about racing and breeding process I wish was a faster process, but it's not a part that I don't like, you know? This game truly, in my eyes, is an absolute masterpiece. So, yeah, I'm enjoying it. By the way, I want to show you guys this real quick while we're waiting for this race to end. I'm going to go to full screen really fast. I want to show you guys this. So check out my phone setup now. If you can see, this is my current phone setup. I have an Android, and as you can see, you know, I have a uh, Cloud, the Final Fantasy VII Remake key art that they released. I have Cloud staring at uh, Shinra headquarters in Midgar. But what's really cool about it is if you look closely, it's actually animated. Somebody on Reddit animated this background. So you see in front of the Shinra building there you have like the Mako kind of animated going upwards and then you see the clouds up at the top the clouds are moving so I actually have like an animated background on my uh, phone right now which is pretty insane the picture is so badass right yeah this is my uh, my schedule you know like this my, my PlayStation Network card at the bottom my PSN card I wish it would focus but sorry about that you guys can't really be focused and you know like my news stories and all that over here it's pretty cool pretty cool phone setup that I have right now um, but yeah this I'm pretty sure that my phone's gonna stay just like this until March 3rd of 2020 <laughs> and then beyond but yeah it's pretty awesome pretty awesome phone setup if you guys go to the reddit the Final Fantasy 7 remake reddit you can see that he made a phone version of what I have on my oh wait a minute whoops I just realized we're not focused on the game. I'm still in full screen. There we go. 
um, you can see that there we go you can see that uh, it's animated and it's the it's the phone version it's formatted for a phone but also he has the the widescreen version you know like a the 16 by 9 version also animated and I forget the guy's name but um, if you go to the Final Fantasy 7 remake reddit you'll see there's a thread there that uh, you know you can find those animated versions of the key art it's pretty cool it's really really cool that's how much of a Final Fantasy 7 fan I am you guys it is part of my phone background <laughs> I can't wait cannot wait for a remake Yeah, it's awesome. Actually, in Somniosis, I tweeted it out. If you check my tweets, go on Twitter and check my previous tweets. I actually gave credit to the guy who made the animation of the key art, and I posted it. So if you go to go check my Twitter and whatever that guy's name is on Reddit, just go to Reddit and type him in, and just you know you can see his posts. Uh, I'm sure you can scroll down and he made a thread that said like a, a higher resolution version of the key art was released so I went ahead and animated it again. It's something like that he posted and you can you can find it there. And it's just an MP4 video. You know it's it's a looping like MP4 video that uh, I don't know if you have an Android or an iPhone, but I don't think I don't know if you can do it on an iPhone because I don't I don't have an iPhone. But on Android if you go to the Play Store and just type in I think it's called Video Live Wallpaper it's a free app you can download and you can open up the app and it'll allow you to select an mp4 video so what I did was I downloaded the mp4 video from my PC uh, that that guy posted up from reddit and then I emailed it to myself and then I opened up my email on my cell phone and downloaded the mp4 attachment onto my cell phone from my email on my phone and then I downloaded video live wallpaper opened it up selected the mp4 and set it as my wallpaper and there you go Cool. And our blue chocobo is now B rank, so we're almost there. You have Android? Cool. So, yeah, you should have no problem setting it up like I did. I wish we'd get that, like, really fast chocobo race again. Remember when Joe was, uh,. When Joe was racing with us, the black chocobo, how fast it was. I wish that would happen again. Yeah, man. Pretty good week we have coming up this week. Um, this week is actually my wife's birthday. Her her birthday is on Thursday. So, uh, really looking forward to that. We're going to be having a little cake for her at the house and everything, so that'll be cool. Really looking forward to that. Happy early birthday to my wife. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thank you. All right. I won. Okay, GK. What we're actually going to have to do is, um, I believe there's, what is it, the sneak attack materia you have to get through Chocobo Racing, and I think that's only in the S-Class races. So what we're actually going to have to do is, get one of our chocobos to s class maybe the gold chocobo we'll see uh, but I don't have to do that right away They're, you know in order to get the sneak attack material 
we can do that later on in the playthrough, though. I don't have to do that now. Like, once I get the Gold Chocobo, I don't have to race the Gold Chocobo right away. I'm just going to use it to get HP MP Swap and uh, Knights of the Realm. And then later on, at some point, I am going to have to get it to S-Class. Or maybe I'll do it with my my Black Chocobo. I don't know. I have to see. We I might have to actually make my Black Chocobo an S-Class in order to get the Gold one. So if that's the case... We, we may not even have to get our gold trip but S class. If my black one's in the S class already, then we'll get all the S class prizes from my black chocobo. <clears throat> we'll see. I have to check the site and see see what class black needs to be uh, in order to breed gold. Red Dragon Fang. You know what? I might actually take this item. I don't know. Let me see. 20 GP. Nah, let's let's get the item. Let's get the Red Dragon Fang. Alright. Okay, we're almost there. As soon as we hit A quest with this blue chocobo, we can go back and breed a black one. If I end up getting the hero medicine, I don't know which prize I'm going to get by winning this race, but if it ends up being the hero medicine, I'm actually going to take that item as well. Because hero medicines, they're, they're actually hero drink. It's called hero drink in the original game. What's up with these chocobos here? It's called hero drink in the original game. They're actually very, very valuable. Um, they're good items. They actually boost your stats like incredibly high. And they make getting 9,999... Uh, a much more real possibility for all of your attacks if you give your character a couple of hero drinks or hero medicines in battle. So I'm probably going to get that item if, excuse me, if that's one of the selections that we can uh, choose from once this race is over. It's cool, we're doing this without the stamina cheat, which is pretty cool. There's a, like I said, on the console version, you can hold all the shoulder buttons down, and when you use your stamina, it actually doesn't use it up, it keeps it charged, so it's kind of like a little exploit, but apparently you can't do that on PC, or at least I don't know how to do it on PC, and we're still getting through all the Chocobo races just fine without it, so pretty cool. Alright, let's see, what are we getting? If it's Hero Medicine, like I said, I'll, I'll take it. Nah, it's an ice crystal. Okay, we'll go with the GP then. <clears throat> here we go! A class! Alright, we're good. Let's get out of here. Let's head back, we'll save. And then we can actually get a black chocobo. Pretty cool. And then we have to go catch our wonderful chocobo of the opposite sex. In order to get the gold. We're, we're almost there, guys. We're going to get a gold chocobo today. This is happening. This is happening in this stream. We're getting a gold chocobo. Alright, awesome. Yeah, I don't know if the stamina... If the stamina cheat works on the PS4 version. Because you know why? I got the Platinum Trophy on the PlayStation 4 version a while ago, once it once it came out for PS4. Way back when it was first ported on PS4, I got it, and I played through I played through Final Fantasy VII on PS4 so quickly, like, it was insane. I, I didn't stream it, you know, it was, it was one of those things I did off-camera. I just played through the entire PS4 version, got the Platinum Trophy, like, insanely fast. Um, but I don't think you ha- you didn't have to do Chocobo Breeding on the PS4 version, because the, the, uh, 
trophy was get a gold chocobo, but you didn't have to breed it. So after you beat Ruby Weapon, and you get the gold chocobo from beating Ruby Weapon, it actually gave you that trophy. I'm pretty sure, I'm like 99% sure that's how it worked, because I don't remember breeding chocobos on the PS4 version. I don't think that... I don't think that uh, that version required you to. This music, man. This music is too good. Alright, let's save. Okay, let's do this. All we have to do is use another carob nut, and we should have the black chocobo. According to this website, they do not have to be S class. They can be a class. So let's do it. Meet chocobos. There don't seem to be any I can meet. Oh, I have to get into battles. Hold on. I have to get into battles. Uh, how many battles do I have to get into? Hang on, let me see. Uh, bleh. I have to get into 3 to 18 battles. So... Child chocobos just born three to eighteen battles before they can be before they're matured and can be bred. Three to eighteen battles. All right, so let's let's get into three battles here and come on in and see if we can do it then. Three to eighteen battles. You know what I could do actually? Wait a minute, I just realized I can go catch. Oh no, I can't. I can't catch the wonderful chocobo yet because I don't know what sex it needs to be. So yeah, we just have to fight some battles here, that's all. 3 to 18, I'm hoping that it's going to be 3, and not 18. We need a new sword for Cloud too. The purple sword looks kind of cool, but we need to get, like, uh, his better swords. <clears throat> What's really cool about this version of the game that I'm playing with, uh, with Seventh Heaven and the mods active and all of that is you can actually break the damage cap for, um, for regular attacks, I believe, break the damage cap, and then also HP and MP can go past their caps as well. So, in the original version, of course, 9,999 was the highest HP you could have, and 999 was the highest MP. Well, in this version, you can actually get 99,999 for your HP, and 9,999 for your MP, so it adds an extra digit for each of the... Uh, HP and MP stats for your characters that you can actually achieve, which is pretty cool. Alright, there's three battles. Let's see if I can breed these chocobos yet. I'm gonna do a quick save, and then we'll head in and see if we can do this. Not oh, PHS, oops. Alright, can we breed yet? Come on, let me breed them. Ah, I can't. Not yet, okay. Let's get into a few more battles. This is 3 to 18. We did 3 already. Let's do like 2 more, and we'll try. Uh, it just does it automatically. There's nothing special you have to do, no. It just does it automatically. So if I, you know, by raising my stats, if my stats would allow for it to normally exceed 9,999, it will. So, you know, with HP plus materia, MP plus materia, you know, stat sources, you know, grinding sources to raise the stats and stuff like that. You know, just that kind of a thing. Alright, we'll get into one more battle. This is four so far. Get into one more and then we'll go try again. We'll save it and we'll try again. Oh, 
another chocobo. I'm getting battles with chocobos a lot. And watch, when I have to go catch that wonderful chocobo, it's gonna take me forever. <laughs> the chocobo gets pissed off and attacks everyone, and then runs away. I know. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I know. see is if it's turned on or not when when watching Max's playthrough I noticed that he had this turned on there's an option actually in the in seventh heaven under tweaks and cheats for 60 FPS battles and I don't know if I have that turned on um, I actually don't see where that could be no I don't see it but apparently there's a 60 FPS battle option I don't know... I don't know where that is. Oh, is it under animations, maybe? Yeah, 60 FPS. Oh, it's on. Okay, never mind. It's on. Alright. Yeah, it's under animations, and I have it turned on. Alright, let's save. Okay. Let's see if I can breed them yet. Yo, our battles are at 60 frames per second, so we're good there. Can we mate them yet? Oh! No, not yet. Okay. Gotta keep it going. Let's get into two more battles and then we'll try again. <clears throat> Let's go to the beach here. Get a different, different environment here for our battles. See you, buddy. So three to eighteen, right? So what did we have? Three, four, five, six. I think that was the sixth battle. This will be, this will be battle number seven. After this, we'll try to go back and breed again. Lucky number seven, let's see, let's try it. Yeah! Guys, give me one second, I'll be right back. <laughs> 